Hello, VOD family. Let's see if everything... Yep, this is good. Okay, stream looks fine for me, so we'll just go right ahead of here. Yes, apart from the fact that it's not running. Uh, let's see, Yarn dev. Running that in the... Uh, in the terminal, which you can see here. So I'm uh, building a an app with SvelteKit. And if we refresh this, we might get some results. Here we go. Import not found app state. Okay, that may, might be because we did some changes, if I remember correctly. So just to sum up quite quickly what we're doing, this is a digital tool for using the um, ACES High Rules, uh, published in the third issue of Arcadia, a digital D&D or Dungeons and Dragons magazine. It can be either be acquired via the, the web store of MCDM or by being a patron on their Patreon. And in the third issue, they have these rules for aerial combat, which are quite cool. Um, and I'm building a tool to make it easier to run uh, combat with those rules. <clears throat> so this is the front page at the moment. We'll just click Start Encounter. Right, then the DM is able to add the actors in the combat, which are the different creatures or whatever, which might be involved. The only relevant factor here is the creatures and the uh, the vessels, I guess, of the combatants, not necessarily the uh, combatants on the, in the, the different creatures. So for example, if you have a flying, a flying ship of some kind, some kind of airship, you might be multiple characters on that airship, but we're only interested in the airships uh, or tracking the airship uh, for the sake of the combat. So we got some predefined stuff here. I think it loads this from the <laughs> from the uh, local storage. It's been probably a month almost since I last worked on this. So things are a bit blurry. But we'll see. So we got the blue dragon, the baby, <laughs> the baby dragon, and the old dragon. They are medium, medium, and huge. Uh, they have a different fly speeds, um, which are all relevant when calculating uh, where they start in the combat. So this is, I think, this is the third iteration of this. How this looks. So we'll just, ooh, okay, that was uh, so that was correct. So there is, oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, so there apparently is something wrong with the app state. If I remember correctly, we were in the middle of um, of uh, refactoring some stuff, and I think that's what we're uh, coming up against right here. So let's see. I'm just gonna have a click, quick look in the Git history. Improve setup flow. I've committed the DM now sets up all the actors and they need to specify a name, a size, and a fly speed. Okay, so this setup screen is new, so that's what's been changed. So that's where we should start. So this is the setup screen code. I'm using Svelte Kit for this, which is still in pre release. Uh, I think I am some versions behind uh, from what's the newest version. Uh, and I haven't spent any time trying to upgrade. Should I maybe do this first? Now nah, when I have it in a running state first, then we can try to upgrade. So we'll see when we get to it. Uh, I also see there are a bit of um, cleanup that needs to be done at some point. My style when coding this is not to spend too much time architecting and cleaning up code when I'm still trying to get things to work. So for example, we've got this <laughs> array just 
hard coded right in right here in the each, which is not ideal. Um, these are predefined in the D&D rules, so it's not that big of a problem, but still, it's kind of messy having this in the, in the middle of the code. So that's going to be changed later at some point, uh, but not right now. Uh, that's not the important point, that, uh, the important thing at the moment. Uh, yeah. So when we click Start Encounter, that's probably down here, yes. Uh, this is a button, and when we hit it, we get to start, which is up here. We do a slice where we get everything but the last element, which is right, because there is an empty element at the end. And I think we add automatically a new one. Yeah, when you add all the necessary details. And if I remember correctly, you do this. Ooh, it does not remove it again. Hmm. Right. Should we fix that now or should we save it for later? I kind of want to fix it now just to have it be done. I might have ended the last stream with saying we'll probably fix that at a later date. <laughs> oh, crud. I'm going to fix it now because that's what I do. Are there any elegant ways? Uh, I could just ignore all the empty ones at the end. Instead of doing the slice, I could just look for, well, if there isn't a fly speed uh, and name, if fly speed and name are missing, ignore the input. That would be the easy way out, but it wouldn't be as, no, that won't work. Well, look, we are actually doing some work here already. So if last actor has a name, size, and fly speed, add another one. Right. Um, should we also do an else here? Because we don't want to do both. I don't think we're going to ever going to be in a situation where both would be. So basically, else if. Hmm. If the last actor has everything, we're not going to get in a situation where. Okay. So, uh, second to last actor. We're going to. I'm just going to change this to be second to. Oh, that's my bad. Wow. I really. Haven't been programming much for the past month. I can feel kind of rusty. Ooh, length minus two. That's interesting. Because that might not be set. Uh, okay, we got some spam in the chat. Let's just get rid of that at once. Uh, how do I do this? Ban? I don't know what that means. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to ban that account. Yeah. Okay. Back to work. So the second to last, I'm just going to have to think for a second. What do we do? What, or rather, what does JavaScript do? I don't. I think it just returns undefined, doesn't it? Let's. Just do a quick check in the console. Let's create an array. Uh, let's call the array R, and it will have uh, a single element, which will be a problem, right? So we got R, and then we do R dot length minus two. We got undefined, yeah, because that is literally undefined because R dot length is one. Yeah, that makes sense. Or it makes JavaScript sense, right? So if second to last actor is set and
Yeah, so if second to last actor is... If it doesn't have a name, and second to last actor doesn't have a size... Ooh, wait a second, size might actually be set. Uh, we'll just check if it has a fly speed instead. Fly speed. So if it has none of those, hmm. I don't want to do it that way. So my thing, uh, what I'm thinking is, if I add something here, like airship, right? And that airship, that is a huge thing. And there's a fly speed of 30, right? At the moment, I want this line in the middle removed too, right? Or if I remove the old dragon, for example, I want that to, to, to disappear. So I don't want the necessarily the, if the last two lines are empty. I want if anything else than the last line, if that is empty, remove it. So I'm thinking, what if every time this changes, what if, hmm, First things first, does setup state even support removing stuff? It has set and subscribe, but those are just to make the state thing work. Hmm. So the question becomes, should we have like a clean uh, remove empty actors thing maybe yes I think so okay so let's do remove remove empty mm hmm yeah remove empty okay and this is going to be setup state dot update there's going to be an updater, which is a current, which returns a current, but it filters. And the filter says if an actor, this is the arrow we want, if the actor, no, if actor does not have a name, and no filter. <laughs> so if this is true, it will be included. So if it has, if actor has a name and I don't know why I do these, I could just skip them for clarity's sake. If it has a size and if it has a fly speed. Only, yeah. So this will do that. So we add this here, we go back, and then we say uh, setup state, remove empty. Oh, sorry. So if there are any empty, just remove them. And if the last actor Right, so here we have the So 
So if last actor is not set or all of this. So if there's not a last actor or the last actor has all these set, add another actor at the end. Yeah, I think that's right. Right, so clean it up automatically for us. So if we add another one here, we say, just dragon. Oh, uh, why am I not typing? Oh, this is interesting. Right. So now I'm unable to type. That is interesting. Uh, that seems fine. Do we have any in the console? Nope. <laughs> this is this is working as expected. Okay. Uh, if we remove this line again, go over here. Okay, now I'm able to type again. Right. So the remove empty line makes it so that I cannot type because every time I try to type, it will it tries to enter it and then hmm. What does it actually do? So we got an input that binds directly to the actor. So apparently. He doesn't recognize that I started typing. Urgh, that is unfortunate. Hmm. So remove empty. Hmm. It removed, removes the actor for adding it again. Right. That is annoying. How do we fix that then? Can you actually see my cursor? No. Don't want to fix that now. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's because of this. Ha <laughs> ha. This is wrong because this checks if all three are set. This is not necessarily true. This should only s check if name and fly speed are empty. It should not be included. Uh, so basically, uh, if there isn't a name and there isn't a fly speed, then that is not true. And the nicer way of writing this. Is this? No, wait. What? <laughs> if um, if it doesn't have a name and if it doesn't have fly speed, so if one of these are set, include it. Wow. Right, that should be the right thing. Well, that's not very promising. <laughs> I removed everything. Ooh, it's still, it's still not working. Uh, are we certain that we're getting the right information here? Okay, uh, let's see. If the actor doesn't have a name and it doesn't have a fly, fly speed, Don't include it. Oh, this is just confusing. I don't know why I would write it like this. Okay, let's see. Yeah, 
That's not helping, WebStorm. There we go. <laughs> So it doesn't have a name, and it doesn't have fly speed. And none of those are true. Oh wait, wow! This all all this negation is really confusing me. <laughs> is it too late for me to think about this? Jesus. Okay, let's see. So what I'm saying is, if it has a name, <laughs> and it has a fly speed, include it, right? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying if it has... If, if name is empty, yes, and fly speed is empty, yes. So if both of those empty, do not include it. Yes, that is what I want. Okay. Can I now type? Yes, I can. Okay, so we got adult blue dragon. That is huge. It has a fly speed of, I don't know, 50, 40, 50, something. This is looking good. Okay. There should be a better highlight of which of them is selected, but that's a problem for another day. Uh, we got a baby dragon. Not just a baby, it's a baby dragon. It is small. It has a fly speed of 20, for example. Okay, this is looking really nice. Okay, okay. And we got a ancient dragon of some sort. Ancient black dragon, maybe. A lot of dragons going on here. It is gargantuan. It's been growing for centuries and millennium. Millennia. But it only has a fly speed of 30 because it's huge. And we've got an airship. It is large. It flies 30. And we got, I don't know, Thor. He shows up. He's medium. Uh, it's a fly speed of 60 because he just swings his hammer and flies away. And we figure, you know what, airship, nah, not going to feel it. Ah, yeah, this is excellent. So if we go Thor, uh, remove this. Ha, huh, interesting. It removes the, hmm. So if we add back Thor. Thor. 60. Right, okay. This is interesting. Oop. Okay, whatever. Huh. Okay, now it adds it back. Okay, this is very confusing. I think it actually would be nicer just to have like an X over here to remove them. I think that actually what I would actually be better. Yeah. I'm not liking this automatic removal um, removal at all. Yeah. I'm actually going to go for that one. Uh, let's see. Boop, 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 boop gonna skip this we're gonna remove this too like so oh no everything is broken and for each thing we are going to add a just a button I actually have a button thing Yeah, it's a nice wrapper for a button. Okay, we'll use that. We'll say that it has a type of danger. Is that the one? That is not the button? Sure. Well, it's probably danger. Uh, I should probably have some text too. So I 
let's change it up to this. Let's use a text. Um, we'll just do key and uh, it's just going to be a huge X for now. Uh, Remote is not a function. Yes. Uh, do we use it anymore? No. Can we just reload? Yeah. Okay. So this kind of works. Uh, let's skip quickly back to button. Error, apparently. Error, not danger. Uh, danger. Danger. Let's change that to error. Like so. Button should now turn red. Any second now. There we go. And uh, we should also add a fifth column. All oh, right, these are oof. Right, I'm using this flex thing. And I don't think I can easily just say the last one should not flex in any way. I think I can. Wait, I, I, might, I might be able to. Uh, let's change this to five. And for the button, uh, how do I, I think I do input. Yes, yeah, so this is this is half. That's probably not going to work. But we're gonna, probably going to go with uh, like two fifths, two fifth. Yeah. And this last one. How do we make this shrink? Can I just say shrink? That would have been nice. Yeah, that's not working. And this is out of whack too. Oh man, this is really messing up my style. Uh, let's see. This is the CSS framework I'm using, Picnic CSS. It has some um, really nice and lightweight styling, which you don't have, oh, sorry intrusive styling so it kind of hijacks the looks of everything quite nicely equally sized how do I make it shrink yeah this is half Got offsets, responses out. Ah, nothing to shrink. That's too bad. Hmm. I just wanted to take as little of the grid as possible. But that's not really what it's designed for. That's the problem. Which is why I often end up just using Flexbox or Grid myself because. I can make it do what I actually want. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, do I just have these ugly buttons for now? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Um... So we are going to actually wondering if I should have them at the start. Well, anyway, if it is the last one, though, uh, what's the syntax for this? Is it by? No. Oh, okay. Only look at the syntax for. Uh, <laughs> is this when I didn't remember how to make drop down lists? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, that was good times. Hmm. 
I remember this. <laughs> Just completely escaped me. You know, which is what happens. Uh, let's see each. Uh, as name, key, index key. Okay. So we do comma index and then key. Yeah. So comma index. Ugh. And then key in parens. And the key is actor than ID, I think. Do I actually need? Well, it's a good practice anyways. And this should only be included if index is not not equal to setup state dot length minus one. So basically, if it's the last one, don't do this. Now I'll go back here. We see that we're not getting anything. The compiler is fine. So it's probably something in here. Ooh, kind of the duplicates key and a key to each. Well, that's a problem. Why does it have duplicate keys? That's uh, also a problem. It should be auto generated though. Well, we'll just remove that for now. We, we don't really need it. Ah, there we go. Nice. Okay, uh, this is good. So you can only remove the last ones. Uh, let's add a click handler for this on click do actually have to check now the actor thingy setup actor setup actor oh it doesn't actually have an ID oh okay that's fine I guess shouldn't it have an ID though I see that we're doing that when we, that seems like an oversight, right? Yeah. Should probably have that instead of here, like so. And then go back up here, oh, set up back door. And just have like a, have like an ID right here. Yeah, let's reload this. Oh, an expected token, that's interesting in here yes oh right the default thing is it for it to have an empty actor yeah it's probably fine just copying this over right yeah uh do that one still on an unexpected token Oh, right. Um, so we'll add on click remove remove actor and we gave mm, we could just pass it the actor. Or should we pass it the ID? Hmm. Probably just one of it. Do we really need the ID here, though? I'm feeling kind of not. So let's remove it again. Uh, no, we're going to keep that. Remove. Okay, remove this actor, which is this actor. Then we go back up and we do set of here, const remove actor, which is a, and it takes an actor of setup actor. Bah. I'm feeling the, the, um, uh, yeah, this is not the same though. So we're going to do this and, and copy this, make this tight, 
and set up actor like this. Next, we are going to hmm, we need to remove the actor, which we need to specify here, uh, right here. Remove actor, which is going to be a function that takes an actor of setup actor. Oh, then. We do this whole, uh, yeah, we do this whole thing. We get the current one, but instead of this, we do the current, we filter, and if the actor is not the actor specified add, added to the resulting set, um, This is complaining because kind of I'm set to me. Do, 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 where, there we go. Then we go back here. We do remove. Oh, we do setup state, remove actor, the one passed in. Everyone is happy. We now try to remove Thor. It works. Huzzah. Um, yeah. So off screen, I'm just going to commit this. Uh, this is not showing me the creatives. Yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Just double checking the changes that we've made. We kind of uglied up the whole thing with the red buttons, but we're gonna, just going to have to live with that for now. Looks good. Add button for moving actors. Re move, re moving actors. And that's all we got. We've got to say about the thing. So we've got all this added. So for the next stage, we head on. We go to play <laughs> slash generate idea uh, slash scramble, which sends us to this page. I think yes. Um which previously relied on something called app state but that doesn't exist anymore because we removed it in the previous stream when we remade the setup screen and had i known how long it would be until i worked on this again i would have <laughs> written down some notes but i didn't so we'll just have to figure it out let's see so we're at this screen in setup. Now it's actually becoming quite annoying that you can't see my uh, pointer. Uh, can I fix that quite easily? Or is it hard to do? I wonder. Um, blah, 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 blah. Nothing about pointers. Doesn't look like... Do, 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 do. Nope. Anything in here? Uh... Nope. Well, that's just annoying then. <laughs> I'm assuming. Uh... You do like this yeah we're not gonna add that anyways okay we'll just have to live with the fact that you can't see my pointer anyway if you look in the browser um, we got all the actors added and what we need to do here in this 
uh, code right here. We're going to uh, have to, um, to ready this. So what we're, what we're thinking here is that the DM goes to this web page. They go to the front, uh, front page. They want to start the combat. So they go in and add the actors as you do. And after you've added all the actors, you want to, you want all the players to connect. And they should assign themselves the characters that they're going to control, right? So that's the next stage. So that's, that's not the scramble stage per se. That's the phase after. Scramble is the first, it's the initiative role of the air combat. And we want to do that afterwards. So the next thing to do, I now realize that these headers are out of whack. Ah, oh, crud. I'm going to have to fix this because it's going to annoy you the heck out of me. It's not too much work, though. It's going to be five. These are going to be fine. If we save this. I wonder why it doesn't update the thingamajig when I save. It, should re it really should. Uh, oh, yeah. It doesn't work when do, 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 this is half. So this we need to do two-fifth. And that works. There we go. We're just gonna fix that commit from earlier. There we go. Right. So we got this uh, the thing going, and the next thing is that they need to the players need need to connect. They're supposed to connect via um, via direct direct connection and assign themselves to the different actors. By most, uh, or rather, we're going to assume, at least in the beginning, that this is all in good faith and that no one wants to hijack the thing that shouldn't be a problem but we're going to assume anyways that this is in good faith uh, kind of deal so we'll just have to create a new page here um let's just call it connect that kind of makes sense uh first we need to say we need a component Let's connect. We add it inside here. Uh, so the question now becomes, should either the setup add the I've, I've added the setup state as a separate thing, but hmm, wouldn't it be more logical to have the setup state be something local and then have that add to the kind of app state afterwards? That does seem to make a lot more sense now in retrospect. Oh, crud, it really does. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> oh, man, it really, really does. Oof. Well, the nice thing about this, well, we could just expose create store because that's what it does. It creates a store with a store name. And what it does is it automatically loads from local storage. It it creates a writable from it if it exists. It, if not, it does use a default value. It subscribes to it and stores automatically back. All these are really nice things. <sighs> but create store would actually make more sense as a 
exported function that we could just use locally, I think. So but why would we <clears throat> well the nice thing is that we get this automatic loading thing. And what we get back is a writable, which is a store, a svelte store. And we could just use that directly. But I'm really, really second guessing whether we need this at all for the setup. This just seems like such overkill for the setup, right? This is only used in one in one view or one page. Why would it need this whole setup? Hmm. There is one thing that would be nice, and that would be like auto completion. If you've added an adult blue dragon before, you could just say, "Yeah, the one adult blue dragon one," and it, over, it automatically fills in the size and the fly speed. That would be nice. But that's not this. This is so overkill. Why did I do this? <laughs> hmm. This does not make any sense. You know what? Yep, I'm gonna move this. So we're gonna move this from here into setup, like so. And we're not going to import that anymore. We might have to import this. Nope, oh, it's already... The fly speed is not, an, not a type of... As, uh, all right, it's... Hmm. But it actually has specific values, and that means that we need to import it like this. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Same with size and... What we actually need is just like a list of actors. So we'll just do that. Uh, let actors be a array of setup actor. And it's empty by default. Uh, remove actor. Just, it just, just basically just uh, does the same thing as we did down here, remove actor. So it takes actors, oh crap, actors, and reassigns it, like so. Uh, this changes to just be actors. Actually, if we do this, we can basically just do this. And if uh, this is the case, we say actors push an empty object like so. We actually don't need setup state. If we go here, we can delete everything down to here. And I actually now realize we can't use push here because that won't trigger a svelte. So we need to say actors equals uh, actors with an empty object at the end. That's what we want. Uh, yep, we removed all that, and uh, what we need here is for const in a uh, okay, so we get the actors, and if any of them has any of these empty, don't 
continue. Oh, we actually do a check here. That's nice. Why we're we not just doing? Okay, this <laughs> this is interesting. Um, a slice. Uh, okay. Yeah, but this is going to be actors now. So now we know what a slice is. So the second param is, yeah, the ends index. Okay. <clears throat> Factors. It doesn't, it doesn't have a length or the actors dot length is less than two, which is the same as this check basically. So we can just do this return. Actual actors. If actual actors dot every and it basically needs name and size and fly speed to be set. So that is that not true of everything? Return. So that's the same check as we did below. And the next thing to do is actually add them to the encounter. Yeah, that's this 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 feels a lot better. All right. So we do over here, we say encounter state like so, and then we do four, four of actual actors, actor, for each actual actor, we uh, encounter, counter state dot add actor, yes. And we add a name, which is uh, actor.name. And we add a opening altitude, right? And an initiative. Uh, this is why we did it that way. Oh, right, 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 right. So we need it for more than this. We don't need it just for the setup. We need it for the scramble too, because the opening altitude and the initiative are calculated based on the fly speed and what your role in the initiative role or the scramble phase as, it, as it's called in these rules. Right, it's almost as if we had a point when we did it that way. Right, so we're just gonna reset this. We're just gonna throw everything out the window. Reset everything like it was. We're gonna keep the setup state and everything. The only change we're going to make is we're going to reintroduce the what I my preferred if, which is to do an every check on actors and to see if every actor has a name and that every actor has a size and that every actor oop, a has a fly speed and if not return 
actually think it's more succinct. And we're also going to do the check if actor... Um, if setup state dot length. Actually, it has to be three or more because when we remove the last one with a slice, there should be two left at the minimum. So we're going to need three in here. Right, this is better. Yeah. So we're gonna we're rather going to commit this. Add extra validation. Add extra validation uh, before moving on from setup to connect stage. Hmm. Phase. Hmm. Step. Okay. So now let's do a silk component here. Let's call that connect. And this is going to be the next thing that they do. So at this point, we're still in the setup phase. Technically. We still haven't created the encounter as per se, per se yet. So we're still waiting for everyone to connect and everything. <clears throat> and pick their their um their actors. So what we're going to do first is that we're going to present a list of the um, the actors, right? Yeah, sure. So uh, script, uh, script lang ts. And the first word thing we're going to do, we're actually just going to import the setup state like so. And then we are going to immediately. Yeah, we're going to probably do it like a section here. And immediately we're just going to eat. It's just going to each through it. Each. Dollar setup state. Oops, setup state. As an actor. And I'm just going to present the list. Uh, is there like a card thing here? Yeah, this is <laughs> this is literally it. Um, So something akin to this, basically. Let's just do this, exactly. Uh, so the header, he header, the header is going to be the actor.name. Uh, there's a footer. Where do I just put regular content? Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So the image, and then it has these things, right? So you just put content in some uh, in the middle. Um, so we're gonna move this, and what we're gonna do instead is a div, and. This is like an actor, uh, actor info thing. 
uh, actor actor card body. That's what we want. And this is going to have a span which says the um, actor dot. Oh, that's not how we do it. Actor dot. Oof, 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 oof. This is all over the place. Actor dot size. Uh, this needs some curlies around it, like so. Do we have translations for the sizes? I think we do, which we can find in string, strings. Wow, strings, there we go. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right here. Uh, inside of the setup thing. That's interesting. This interesting location, but sure. Um, so instead of this, we can actually do uh, this. Um, text. Uh, we can do key. We can do what is it? Uh, Setup size and then the thing. So, so oh, uh, uh, one of these setup dot size dot the thing. This is the actor dot size. That's it for the text. And then we're gonna have another one, which is uh, which has the uh, emphasized, but the wow. Uh, um, not ah, sure. Uh, I don't think, hmm. We'll just call this connect. And let this be flying speed. And what you do here is you write Uh, something like digits and then feet, like so. So we do another text here, the key, and you say connect dot flying speed, and then you say. Bu -bu -bu. I haven't added support for this yet, haven't I? Have I? No. <laughs> uh, let's have a look in the text. Yeah, this is not supported yet. So we're just going to skip this for now. I think. So this is just going to say actor dot flying speed. Like so. And then for my last trick, uh, we're going to put in a button. I'm just thinking, I think we should wrap it. Yes, it's one of those as a type. Uh, I think it's just a regular button. Yeah. So we don't really need a type. Just gonna do this. So we're gonna add a class to this, which is actor card body claim button.
flame button. Container. Uh, this is going to need some text. That's what it's going to need. Which we're going to get like this. Text key is connect. Ooh, connect the claim button. So we're going to go back here. Connect. Uh, we're going to remove this, but we're going to add claim button. And it's just going to say claim. And then in our CSS, we're going to fix, I should rather say, in the actor card body, that's going to be a display bo a flex box like so. And the actor, no, 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 the claim button container is a flex basis, I think. Is that the one? No. Flex shrink. One? <laughs> A number. Defaults to one. Um, property sets the flex, sh flex shrink factor of a flex item. If the size of all flex items is larger than the flex container, items shrink to fit the con according to flex shrink. In use... Flex shrink is used alongside the other flex properties, flex grow and flex basis, and normally defined using flex shorthand. Uh, yeah, uh, I think we're gonna do flex zero. I think that's what we actually want. So let's have a look see over here. This is not gonna do anything for us at the moment because we need to switch to setup. And instead of going to, to scramble, we're going, oops, that's not what we want at all. We wanna go to connect because that's our new page thingy majig. And if we do this, we should hopefully go to connect. Yes. And it does some of the things that we want, but not everything. So we get the, the title of the thingy majig, but these are all wrong. So flying speed is undefined, apparently. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Unresolved variable. What is it called then? Huge, small, gargantuan, tiny. So these apparently looks to be right. It's called fly speed, isn't it? Yes. There we go. Uh, we're just going to cheat a bit and add this feet at the end. And I actually thought this was going to flex a bit more. Uh, do we need to add like a width to like 100%? Is that the problem? Apparently not. Um, oh, right. They're probably... Ah, right, right, right. <laughs> So let's do like um, fly speed container. Let's do that here. Fly speed container. That's gonna flex like a champ. Uh, okay, this is interesting. My. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> the stream updated correctly, but not my uh, not on my screen. So that was interesting. Uh, we're also gonna do um, align items to the center, and actually, there is a gap property that actually works like so. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we should also have a bit of a uh, looks like we're going to need the uh, hmm, yeah. 
So let's go with the padding. Just one rem, I guess. Oh, that's what I meant. Ooh, that's a bit much. <laughs> Uh, let's go with zero. Oh, that's a zero. That's a lot better. We are probably going to need the... Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. So does this... Yes. This does support, wow, this is really confusing watching back. So this should support uh, us just, um, yeah. So this supports us adding a string and some values. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So text does not support this yet, but that's just a technicality. So, uh, export let values be a string array. Isn't that how you say it? Yeah. And this should just be values. And we do this check here. Yeah, this should probably just work like this. Yeah. Uh, actually, if we go to back to text, we need to set a default value for this because or else it will be required when using the text component, which we don't want. So for example, for the size, we, what do we actually want here? So, okay, for this example, we need one text, we want the key, and we want that to be connect uh, fly speed. The values will be the actor dot fly speed, like so. Then we go to strings and we say fly speed and that should be pers uh, uh, fly speed colon percent digits feet like so it should have a comma after it well Expected identifier, but found a comma. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so that works. And if I remember correctly, I should be able to do this. And get what I want. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like that. That's possible. That's really nice. Uh, yeah. So we just should just do one for size too. The 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 problem is well problem. The complication is uh, is that um it's a bit more involved to support uh, nested things. So. I want, both want to look up the translation for this and for uh, and and use this template string, but that's just yeah, that's just what it is. Uh, yeah, and then it should have a string inserted right there, and that's the size. That's the claim button. Let's move that down here because that feels more natural. 
Um, actually, I'm thinking that we should move it up. So let's move that back up there. Oh, let's just do like a, uh, for the H3s, just display them in line for now, because that's what we want. And let's give this a class of card header. Actually, this should just go, well, they're not gonna be multiple headers in this page anyway, or in this component rather. So the header, header, Jesus, the header should just be displayed as a flex, and this should flex with one. And what we're gonna do is take this button Again, I think that we might want to keep the container with a button. Just move it in here. So that's a thought. <laughs> uh, what's adding all this? Okay, so I'm guessing the button is adding all this stuff. Uh, we don't want that to be a key, the case. So we add a class and we call it the claim button and we do claim button font size and we do like 0.8 em which makes it a bit smaller i would think nope Is the text overriding this? This should be the way that we do it. Hmm. Let's inspect this and see. Where is the font size coming from. Good question. Is it not direct enough? Does have fonts? Uh, it's heavy. Hmm. So it's only coming for the body. That's interesting. I would think that the font size of the class would override it though. Shouldn't it? Did something not compile? No, it's just compilation is fine, it says. Okay. Um, this should be more specific. So font, oh, font weight should be initial, I think. Uh, what's the right one? Not inherited, but unset. I'm f really feeling that this doesn't have much influence. It does have the correct class though. but it's not really making a difference. That's interesting. Is the, is the, uh, the class not being applied or something? This is strange, right? 
because I'm quite clearly seeing the class being applied, but not the class definition from the CSS. Where am I crazy? <laughs> claim, claim, interesting. It says claim button, blah, 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 right there. But it does not show up here, which is strange. So right here, the claim button container is showing up. But not the... Is it being compiled away because it's not applied to the, hmm, that might actually be it. But if I move this up here though, yeah, that works. <laughs> right, this is the problem with um, with adding classes like this. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, also the header thing should align its items. Line items to the center. Right. Let's just close this. Huh. That's an interesting effect. Ugh. We don't want that. Uh, we also want to fix the uh, size thing. So this should be a double thing. So. We need to import the, um, I think we used this in setup actually. We need to uh, import the translator. There we go, that one. So we need to import that. And then we, uh, we do, uh, yeah, we do, <laughs> do one of these. Let's say connect dot size. Yeah. No, right, 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 right. Okay. Let's let's do it over. So this is gonna still gonna be the thing, but we're gonna pass it into values instead. We're gonna make it the first thing in the array. Uh, like so, uh, we are going to get a new key, and the new key is connect dot size. Now the question becomes: Should we change this to? No, no, no. That's not going to be a question. Uh, yeah. So this is moving towards what we want, but we actually want translation here. So we're going to do T like so, and we're going to go over here and add in paren here, like so. Then we're going to save again, and haza, It works. Oh, the last one is included. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, so in the setup, um, yeah, we're, not, we're going to get to that later. So you can cl click the claim button, and when you click the claim button, let's go over here. Oh, not that one. Uh, let's go over here. On click, we should uh, claim actor. And this is the actor we should claim. So up here in the script thing, we should say claim actor. Uh, it takes in an actor, which is a setup actor. Like, so, uh, add import statement, and we're actually going to copy this, remove actor, if a set of actor from here, remove this from here, and just import the type, which is what Svelte prefers, and it's also better with TypeScript because then you own, you don't want, you want, it won't actually import anything that's, impo uh, uh, that's an imported type. 
it's guaranteed that it won't include it in the JavaScript, and we don't want any of this to end up in the JavaScript in any way. So we claim the actor. So how do we model this in this state thing? So in this state thingamajig, we have the actor, the name, opening altitude and initiative. But we don't add a player, right? But we should. We should add a player. I think this is just, this is just a string. Yeah. Like so. Um, but that means that the setup actor also need a player um, property, like so, which can be unset. That's the whole point. And when anyone claims an actor, uh, we we go down to setup state down here, and we say claim actor. So this is the first case where hmm, okay, so we pass in the whole actor. Yeah, I guess this is where it becomes a bit weird. Because if we mutate the actor, we just add the player. That will actually kind of work. We won't get any notifications that the, that the actor has been changed, but it will work. Which is weird. <laughs> now, we're going to do it like this anyway. Uh, we're gonna go with player ID just to make sure that we um, get this right, um, like so. Uh, no, we're not not like so at all. Um, there was will just be a new line. Oop, that's what I meant. To, not what I meant to do. Uh, and it's gonna be setup state update get the current one and the current one should return a new state where A uh, new hmm. actor dot player is now player ID, and it returns the current state where we map, and we get the actor. And if actor is not like the actor, just return the actor. If not, 
return actor. This doesn't seem right <laughs> at all. Uh, sure. Yeah, this is a bit weird. How did we... <coughs> Down here, we just update the actor. I think we should just do the same. Okay, let's just copy this instead. We're gonna trust the app code to actually do the right thing here. Because if we don't, if we don't, we should really just return the, I uh, or um, uh, accept the ID of the actor and find it ourselves and update accordingly. But that's not what we're doing. This is a setup actor. Uh, this operates on oh, the setup state. Um, I'm trying to to, um, to to do a thing, uh, but I'm using the wrong keyboard combination. I think it's this one. Oh man, this is not working at all. Okay, this thing. Uh, this? Yeah, here we go. I have no idea what I'm doing, apparently. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Right. So if the actor is oh, still, this is a bit weird. Um, uh, this is this is weird any, any way we do it. So we're just going to do this. And that's going to be, that's going to be it. Okay. So inside of connect when you claim an actor we are going to say that the actor dot player is somehow the player id uh, and then we are setup state update actor I'm just going to pass in the actor like so uh, yeah, 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 okay, we get the player ID from there. Okay, that's fine. Um, and this is disabled if uh, actor dot player equals player ID. Does that work, I wonder? So I claim this. Wow, that actually worked. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, So maybe if we down here do another span and instead of this we're we're gonna do this and we're gonna say key equals connect uh, claimed by and for the values we are Right. Ideally, we would have a name for the <clears throat> for the player here, I guess. Hmm. Interesting.
Yeah, a lot of stuff here to think about. Okay, we're just gonna take the player ID, pass that in. That's not how we do HTML. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Then we head over to strings. We add claimed by. And we just add like a wonderful one of these. Uh, I need one of these here. And save, I think. Yeah. For some reason, they're all <laughs> all claimed by. Oh, right. Um, not player ID. Ha ha ha. Actor dot player. And we're only going to show this if actor dot player has a value. Fantastic. Uh, these are probably going to be some names at some point, but now we're able to claim. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, claim the different actors. Um, I think I'm actually going to end it there for today. Uh, it's getting pretty late. And I need to get to sleep. And I, I think it's a good place to stop. Um, we're suddenly getting into a lot of... There is, there is a lot of thinking that we have to do around how do the players connect and what do they see when they try to connect. But we're, um, we're going to get back to that, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to get back to that. We're not going to worry about that for now. Which is basically what I said I'd do too. Um, not doing um, a lot of that stuff with players connecting and everything before it is actually necessary to think about. Mostly because um, it just complicates things now. And what I want to nail down for now is actually the the logic of the app and how it should work. Uh, the, the sad thing is I haven't gotten too far in implementing the rules. Which probably should be the place where I started with just... Uh, implementing controlling the the different actors in the encounter um, and how they should be notified about different rules and then expand from that being able to add actors and then claim the actors and everything um, but yeah that's uh... <laughs> that's not what I did um, classic uh, by me, I think. But still, yeah. Anyway, uh, this is kind of cool. So we got the thing working, at least. You're able to claim the different things. Um, I'm the only... Or the DM, and by that, I me, mean myself, is the only one that's able to add anything at the moment. Uh, the only thing is, we should remove the last one when moving on, I think. So, yeah, in the setup, we move on to connect. And should connect just remove the last one when we reach this, or should the setup step do this? I think the setup step should do this. Hmm. Does setup state support removing an actor? Yeah. Uh, so it's checked that everything. We're removing the last one. Does everything else check out? Yes. So we should be able to just grab the last one. So we do setup state. Oh, state, ah, crap. Oh, come on. Set up state, uh, remove actor. We do 
setup state, uh, and we get the oof, setup state dot length minus one. So in here, if we just go back to the beginning, where it all starts, start an encounter, we get these, and we start the encounter. Hi, hey, you're still here. <clears throat> all right, that's because we're adding it back in here. Ha, okay, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Uh, let's uh, let's just fix this and connect them um, because at that point we're certain that we are uh, in the clear. There we go. That's not a good look. No, 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 that, that's not going to work either. Uh... Yeah, we're going to need to remove empty. <laughs> Um, from the setup state. So, remove empty. Uh, yeah. Setup state dot update uh, and then you're going to return uh, the same thing but filtered where for every actor. If it has a name and a size and a fly speed, if it, ha all, ooh. if it has all those things, keep it. The first thing it does is remove the empty, yeah. So if we now head back to the beginning, like so, we start the encounter, they're all here, right? This one is empty, we head over here and we just get the one, yeah, okay, this is good. They were all already claimed. Um. So the next thing should be to scramble, right? Yeah. Uh, how do we put this? Uh, get the section. Then there's another section and the last section. Okay. So to set up the start button, we should just change that uh, strings thing. Um, uh, create encounter like so and inside of connect we add another section and it has a button which has a text the key and the key says connect, uh, and it says start scrambling something something. Head over to strings, then connect, start scrambling, and that's what it says. Ah, scrambling. There we go. Uh, 
class uh, button start button container. Uh, flex, no, oh. display, flex, uh, justify content to the end. Oop, end. Actually, we also want a non blocking, non breaking space and an icon. And the icon should be, what is it, left arrow? I don't remember. Let's look at setup. Uh, arrow right, that's the icon we want. That one. And when we click this button, start scrambling. Scramble. <laughs> yeah, but not generate, <laughs> not gener generate idea. That's a bad idea. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Encounter ID somehow. And it's probably okay. Where is it used? Uh... Is it never stored anywhere? I think that's problematic. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so it's not stored anywhere. We just continue, okay. Okay. Um... We're just going to continue this trend for now. Let's head over to connect. We're going to store this in the encounter ID and we're just going to pass it on. Yep. Oh, that's not going to bite us at all. <laughs> yeah, okay. So if we head over here. Uh, we should, yeah, we get the same error as before, but we've added a new page, so that's good. Right, that's going to be the end. Now I'm uh, just writing the commit. Uh, let's see, what did we add here? Add connect page. Okay, and claim their actor. Um, also adds support for uh, template strings in text component. There we go. So that's going to be it for now. Um, if you've um, stuck around all the way through, thank you for, um, for watching this whole thing. Uh, no one dropped in on the live stream, so if you're watching this VOD, you are you are the ones actually seeing this. 
I guess. Anyway, I uh, hope to see you next time. Snuckies.